The Gunmen stars Sean Penn, Idris Elba, Ray Winstone, Mark Rylance, and Javier Bardem. The Gunman is about a sniper on a mercenary assassination team, and he has to take out the Minister of Mines of the Congo. Sean Penn's successful kill in the Congo leads to him in hiding, and then years later he becomes a target of a hit squad himself. From the trailers, this looks like an action film with Sean Penn buff as he can be just kicking ass. But this film is more than that. There is a limited amount of action in here. When there is action, it is handled poorly. It is that typical edits that we get in action scenes that are just so fastly paced that you don't get to be invested in the action scenes. So the action scenes that are here in The Gunman, they are pretty bad and you just do not care about it. Even though that Sean Penn bulked up for this role, he looks actually really great. He has his shirt off for most of the film, and at the end of the film, he does have uh, this vest on without the shirt. So he just has his vest. There's only two people in the world that can pull that off. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Predator and myself. Time to go hunting. And contributing to the bad action sequences is Sean Penn. I just don't buy Sean Penn as an action star. You know, he's been a gay politician, did pretty good. He was a disabled parent, did pretty good. He was a gangster, did pretty good. He was a Boston man uh, on a hunt, he was pretty good. But as an action star, I just do not buy Sean Penn as an action star. In here, he was the play it safe action man. Everything he did, he was in hiding and ducking underneath things, playing it cool, not getting himself too involved with um, the battle sequences, so I just don't really like him as an action star or the character per se as the action star because he just was playing it safe the whole time. He's like, shh, be quiet. Hide back here so they don't see us. Let me throw out this grenade and then we'll just run away. I want someone that gets invested in the action sequences and just kicks ass and is so fun to watch. Sean Penn wasn't that. So with bad action sequences and a disposable action star, you have to rely on the story. And the story wasn't that great too. A lot of it was very dull and boring and dragged on for most of the film. This film could have been cut down so much. There was uh, times in the movie where, you know, they told you what was going on. They did a good job of telling you what was going on, kind of keeping you on track with that but adding more things that weren't quite necessary to what they just told you. So with all that adding on, you're just kind of like, okay, I figured out what's going on now. Let's move on so I'm interested in what's going on. But you're adding more stuff to where I'm losing that interest. I was interested in the story. It was pretty cool about a man who has regrets for what he did and he has the truth about the people that he worked with but now he is being hunted by these people that he doesn't know who they are and he has to protect himself and he has to meet with people that he had worked with previously and you know I like that idea it's a pretty cool story but the way they go about the scenes and adding a little more just I just wasn't invested completely in the idea as much as I wanted to. The Gunman was very long, it was dull, had bad action sequences. I didn't really like Sean Penn as an action star, so I'm gonna go ahead and give The Gunman a D. This is Justin Watches Movies with his review of The Gunman starring Sean Penn, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.